In the following video, we will build a simple interior space using the tools in AGI 32, add calculation points for illuminance on a work plane, calculate, and render the results. This is a very common scenario for many basic interior analysis projects. In a second video, we will then modify the space in several ways expanding on the possibilities using AGI 32. To begin, we will create the space geometry using AGI 32's Rooms and Objects Toolkit. From the Room Tools, select the button to create a polygon-shaped room. In the dialog, enter a name and description for this room if you like. This step can be very helpful for identification when working on larger projects. Next, enter a wall height of 10 feet. We can easily change the reflectance of ceiling, walls, and floor from this dialog. More detailed changes can be made after the space is complete using the Surface Edit command. Click in either the reflectance or color cell for the walls. As reflectance and color are mathematically linked, both are available in the same dialog. To change only the reflectance, simply type a new decimal value and press Enter. Exit the dialog and we are ready to create the space geometry in model mode. To assist in creation, we can set the cursor snap to 5 feet and enable the ortho mode to constrain the cursor movement into only X and Y directions. We can now draw the perimeter of the space. Locate the first point at the origin. This is simply convenient and in no way a requirement. Arcs can be placed in polygon shapes using the F4 key. Arcs can also reverse direction using the F5 key. After tracing the outline of the space, you can close the polygon from last point to first by clicking the right mouse button. Once our space is complete, we can see what we have done by selecting an isometric view. In the next step, we will define the luminaire photometry to be used in the analysis. AGI 32 is not particular about the order of your actions in model construction. The software is very flexible, allowing you to work in your own way. The luminaire definitions are established using the define command from the luminaire toolkit. From within the luminaire define dialog, select the Instabase button to access participating manufacturers' photometric data. In this example, we will utilize a photometric file from the Zlux demo database that comes with AGI32. Browsing through the Zlux Instabase, we will select the ZLF2 luminaire. Enter a label and description for the luminaire. Different default responses can be set using the defaults button. Next, enter light loss factors. Select a different symbol for the luminaire from AGI 32's symbol collection. Once you've selected your symbol, make the housing color more interesting. When finished, Close the Symbols dialog and click the Add Redefine button to complete the definition, then exit the dialog. We can now place the luminaires in the space. There are a variety of ways to place luminaires using AGI 32, and in many ways it will depend on the application and your personal preference as to what technique you use. For this example, we will place the first luminaire, then use an array to fill the lower room. We can then copy those luminaires into the second office portion of the space. First, enter a mounting height in the Luminaire Toolkit. Then select the Locate and Orient method and drop the Luminaire at 5.5. The first click drops the Luminaire, and the second click sets the Orient Angle. Right-click to terminate the Luminaire Locate and Orient command. From this location, we can then create an array of Luminaires. Now let's copy the luminaire arrangement from the lower space to the upper space. It is convenient to set a reference point for the operation to keep the luminaires in exactly the same position in the second space as the first. For this example, the luminaire placement is complete. We now have surfaces and luminaires in the model and can calculate the surface luminance and render at this point. However, for most applications you will want sampling points for illuminance on a work planar surface. We can use AGI 32's automatic placement technique to easily locate the calculation points. Select the automatic placement command from the calculations toolkit and click anywhere on the room perimeter. Within the automatic placement dialog, select the move to work plane shortcut button. Notice the work plane is highlighted. 
Now turn the points on and exit the dialog. At this point we can calculate the model and see the illuminance points in AGI 32's model mode. Or we can watch the radiosity process as light is bounced from one surface to another in render mode. This is much more fun. Select the render tab. Once there, click the calculate button. All surface luminances are then computed followed by the illuminance points. We can interact with the rendering while it is calculating or at completion using the interactive commands such as orbit and walk. When the calculations are complete, we can utilize some of AGI 32's graphic tools to help evaluate the results. Model Overlay has the ability to superimpose the point-by-point -point calculations on the rendering as well as CAD-created entities if they have been imported. The use of pseudocolor is also very powerful as we can see the light distribution on all surfaces in terms of illuminance, incident light, or luminance, reflected light. Any viewpoint you select in render mode can be exported to JPEG or BMP format for use in other applications or in AGI 32's own page builder output feature. This concludes the first portion of the simple interior space video. Be sure to watch the second portion where we will modify surface color and texture and add objects for more accurate analysis and presentation. As always, thanks for watching.